Hello and welcome. My name is Navigator and I will guide you through this video. We will combine uh, EFROSKY XLED Pro with a TPS Crossfire Microtransmitter in stealth mode. So we have the best of both worlds, uh, the smallest remote control and the best transmitter module I know. The mod is also called Stealth Mod because we have the TPS Crossfire module packed in the inside of the shell of the XLED Pro practically invisible and no extra weight. This is a fast and easy mod without reusing the potty. No 3D printed parts are needed. We start by opening the EFRSKY XLED Pro shell. We remove the two screws on the back. The rest of the shell is held together only by click locks. We carefully have to untighten the click locks as I now show in the video. Take your time and do not use extensive force. We need the click locks intact. We then remove the four screws to be able to disassemble the EFRSKY transmitter module. This should not be too much of a challenge. Remove the screws, the bracket and finally the EFRSKY transmitter module. We only need the screws and the connector and the bracket if you like. Next we disassemble the TPS Crossfire Microtransmitter module. Remove the two screws and open the shell. Remove the antenna. Then untighten the three screws to be able to remove the module. We only need the innards of the module. In order to squeeze the Crossfire module into the XLED Pro shell, we have to reduce the space between the two boards of the module. I recommend removing the solder from the pins first to be able to remove the pins more easily afterwards. Then we cut the pins on the side of the smaller board as I show now in the video. Separate the boards. Now is a good time to trim the pins to a certain length. Just be careful not to cut them too short. Now we remove all pins on the small board we just shortened. Additionally, we have to remove the pins from the 5 pin connector. We will solder the wires of the connector to the board directly. Make sure the holes are completely free of solder. This will make the reassembly a lot easier. We now put the boards together again. Squeeze the board together to have as little space as possible between them. We need all the space we can get. Then solder all the pins back on. We reuse the 11 pin connector. We just cut off one of the connectors from the original cable. In this case I lengthen the black cables with colored cables. The color is chosen randomly. This is just for the video to be able to distinguish better between them. You may just use the original connector cable. We now begin with the reassembly. I recommend to install the modified TPS Crossfire Micro module vertically. This will save some more space. Tighten the antenna as good as possible. It's harder to do that after the reassembly. Make sure the module is centered and does not touch the gimbals or electronic parts. The module will already be held in place because of the antenna. However, you may also use double-sided adhesive tape in addition. Then we connect the module to the XLED Pro board with the modified 11-pin connector. This is a good time for a first function check. Just do not forget to put on the antenna before switching the transmitter on. We now fixate the module with hot glue. I additionally reuse the original bracket. Just remove the parts of the bracket that are in the way and screw it back into place where it was before. The bracket will give extra hold. With some more hot glue the module will stay in place perfectly. In order to be able to flash the module we need to have access to its USB port. So we need an 8mm hole in the back of the shell at the right position. The position of your module might be slightly different to the video so start with a smaller hole and widen it to the perfect position. In the next step we put the shell back on and press it tightly so that the click fastens engage. With the two original screws we fixate the back cover. Now put the batteries in again and the XLED Pro Crossfire mod is ready. For some extra protection I prefer an additional silicone cover mask. It has more grip and it also covers the hole of the USB port. As a bonus, 
I now show how to set up the hardware for mode 2 use. Mode 2 means the throttle is on the left. We do not want the stick to center automatically. Therefore, we put the long Allen screw into the fourth hole from the left. Tighten it until the throttle stick loosens and drops to zero. Be careful to use only the long Allen screw. The small Allen screw will fall into the transmitter and you may have to open it again to recover the screw. The third and fifth hole define the resistance or dampening of the stick movement. We use the short Allen screw for that. Modify the resistance to your needs. Just make sure that the stick resistance is high enough so that the throttle stick does not move unintentionally. For your convenience, the software setup and configuration is shown in part 2 of this video. Just follow the link at the end of this video. We have successfully installed a TPS Crossfire microtransmitter inside of our FRSky Terranis X-Lite Pro. If the video was informative and helpful, I am happy about thumbs up and I am especially happy if you subscribe to the channel. This is Navigator and you now have reached your destination.